Hi, Dominic Blackwell Cooper here, reminding you that for Kern and Sign, urban mobility is much more than an initiative, it's a revolution. We all know Copenhagen is the bicycle capital of the world, but wait until you take a look at this next urban mobility piece. From specialized lanes to traffic lights, Copenhagen city planners and citizens are very much in sync, truly taking the bike riding experience to an entirely new level. Well, in Copenhagen, everybody has a bike and they use it everywhere. And I mean, you see bikes, all kinds of bikes, also with place in front for kids. And there's no reason to buy a car because there are all kinds of bikes that suit your needs. You'll see everybody on bicycles, grandmas, mothers and dads with their kids on cargo bikes. Businessmen, all age and wage brackets, use the bicycle every day in this city. Sometimes they ask, are we going by bike or by car? And if the answer is we're going by car, they will cry. So they just love it. They do it every day, so it's not that big a deal. In the entire metropolitan area, there's about 500,000 people on bicycles every single day. Even here in the winter, it's minus five at the moment. 80% of uh, Copenhageners choose to continue riding throughout the winter. So when you look at Copenhagen, uh, there's, of course, uh, a built a culture of cycling, which has come over the years. And I mentioned these campaigns and other things. We constantly have new campaigns for bicycling and for reducing accidents or whatever. The other part is the infrastructure, the hardware. And it's very important that the hardware is simple and easy to use. And I think that's what Copenhagen has been building up, a type of infrastructure which is very, very simple, so that I'm going to say that the, the cycling infrastructure should come to you when you need it. You should not be looking for it or need a map to find your way through it. If I use my bike, I can get from A to B extremely fast whenever I want it. And it costs me nothing and the quickest parking spot that would be at the work. So it doesn't make any sense to have it to drive from my home to work. This is one of the main motorways leading into Copenhagen. Copenhagen isn't just a quaint little European capital with a little city center. It actually has the third largest urban sprawl in Europe. So what we want to do is get the people here from the suburbs to ride their bikes into the city center. And in order to do so, we need bicycle superhighways. So when these uh, cycle routes are in place, we're going to see um, various changes at an intersection like this, for example. Uh, we already have a cycle track here along the road, but we're going to see things like um, priority for bikes at intersections. Um, and there's various ways of doing that. One of them is pre-greens for bicycles, so that the bicycle traffic lights turn green before the traffic lights for cars do. Um, and that's simply so that the bicycles will be launched across the intersection before the cars creates awareness and visibility. Higher level of maintenance on all of the bike routes um, is, is also a priority. Free of debris, free of snow, in order to encourage people to get on their bikes and ride longer distances. standing here on actually the world's busiest bicycle street. 38,000 cyclists a day on average ride up and down this street. And this is also where the city of Copenhagen implemented the first green wave for cyclists. And what that means is that all the lights are coordinated for cyclists who ride 20 kilometers per hour. You do that and you're gonna hit green all the way into the city center. You're not gonna put a foot down. So the quality of the city has to do with getting people uh, having a great time, having good conditions. And a city that has more people on the streets, both on bicycles and on foot, is a much more friendly and soft city. The way Copenhagen has gotten behind the culture of bike riding is inspirational to say the least. For more information, hit us up at current.com slash urban mobility. And until next time, I'm Dominic Blackwell Cooper, reminding you that the revolution is mobilized.